We bring you the latest updates and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. has vetoed three provisions in the 5,268 trillion peso national budget for 2023. Malacanang said the president vetoed a provision that grants authority to National Labor Relations Commission to use the income of its head agency, the Department of Labor and Employment. Marco said the existing laws do not grant the NLRC the authority to use Dole's income and that the commission's funding requirements are already fully provided for. The president also vetoed a provision authorizing the Office of the Secretary of the Department of Education to establish a rolling fund specifically for DepEd TV. This was noted that DepEd TV is not a business type activity and as such, they are not permitted to use a revolving fund. Another vetoed provision was one that will prohibit the use of funds of the Department of Tourism to change the tourism campaign slogan. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. expressed confidence that the Philippine Air Force would achieve new heights under newly installed Commanding General Major General Stephen Pareño. President Marcos Jr. led the change of command ceremony of the Philippine Air Force at the Villamor Air Base on Tuesday. Pareño formally assumed the post of the new Air Force Chief, replacing Lieutenant General Connor Anthony Canlas Sr., who underwent mandatory retirement. In a speech, Marcos said he is hopeful that under Pareño's leadership, the Air Force would continue to strive for honor and excellence as they fulfill their mandate to the country and the people. Pareño is a member of the Philippine Military Academy Sambisig class of 1991. He saw action during the Battle of Marawi where he has flown as a flight commander of the C-130 flights. The president also recognized the achievements of the Air Force under the outgoing Chief Canlas. At this juncture, allow me to extend my heartfelt congratulations to our 39th Commanding General. I am confident that under your leadership, the Philippine Air Force will sustain its ongoing initiatives and achieve new heights in responsive service delivery for the country and for the people. Let me also laud the efforts of the valiant valiant men and women of the Air Force for guarding the Philippine aerial domain, for assisting the delivery of basic services to Filipinos in close collaboration with other government agencies and even private stakeholders. Meanwhile, Manila International Airport Authority General Manager Cesar Chong instructed airline operators to ensure that they have enough manpower at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport this peak season. Chong said airline operators and ground handlers must ensure maximum attendance of personnel and must include buffers. He also instructed airlines to keep their passengers aware if their luggage was not loaded on the flight and compensate them based on the Air Passenger Bill of Rights. This after some luggage reportedly failed to arrive with their owners in Manila over the weekend. The MIAA reported that 1.6 million passengers used the country's main gateway from December 1 to 15. Meanwhile, the Philippine Ports Authority has ordered heightened security in all of its ports to help cope with the influx of passengers during the holiday season. PPA General Manager Jay Santiago said more than 200 port police officers would be deployed to all PPA ports as part of its port surveillance program. Santiago assured travelers that port police would be one call away to address travel concerns. The PPA is implementing the Oplan Biaheng Ayos and No Leave policy to help guarantee safe and secure sea travel during the holidays. The PPA is expecting the number of port passengers to climb to 57 million this year, a 200% increase compared to data in 2021. And in sports, Baguio City continues to lead the ongoing Philippine Sports Commission's Batang Pinoy National Championships in Vigan, Ilocos Sur. Baguio's athletes have so far gathered 17 gold, 14 silver, and 20 bronze medals after three days of competition. Archery produced eight gold medals for the City of Pines, while Muay Thai had five, Taekwondo won two, while Swimming and Arnis got one each. Quezon City ranks second with 13 gold medals, 8 silver medals, and 9 bronze medals, including 9 golds in Wushu. 
General Santos City in South Cotabato is running third with 11 gold, 8 silver, and 5 bronze medals. Laguna is in fourth place with 10 gold, 5 silver, and 6 bronze medals, followed by Lucena City Quezon with 8 golds, 5 silvers, and 1 bronze. And that is the latest and the biggest stories from the PNA Newsroom. For more news content, visit our webpage or head on to the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. We are also shown on the social media pages of the Office of the Press Secretary and on Radio Pilipinas RP1. Stay tuned for more news updates. I am William Theo. We tell stories that inspire change.